What's up everybody? So in today's video, we're going to learn how to use and set up React PDF. This is what we're going to be making right here. It's a basic React PDF template that I got from their documentation and I edited I edited my own few changes. You can probably tell what I edited. It was the text down here, of course. And uh, also on the click of a button to be able to download the PDF over and over as many times as you want. Let's get into it. All right, so we have a brand new React app made, and I went ahead and turned the uh, class component over into a functional component. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is installing our package for React PDF, which is just going to be npm install at react dash pdf slash renderer dash dash save. And let that work its magic. Perfect. All right, so now we've installed all of the dependencies that we need. I created a folder called components. There's nothing inside of it. The first thing that we're going to do is create a new file, and I'm just going to call it uh, PDF file.js. And inside of here is where we're going to contain our PDF uh, document. So what I'm going to do is import React from React. I'll import all the stuff that we need. So we need page, text, image, document, and style sheet from React PDF dash renderer, uh, slash renderer. All right, so now what we're going to do is just import an image. I've already have a folder called photos right here that I just created. And inside of there, I put in this image. And this is what we're going to be putting in as our primary image for the PDF. So I'll just import that transparent, not transparent, LeBron stretch, because it's a little stretched image of him, from dot dot slash, do your photos right there, and LeBron underscore transparent dot PNG, and I'll just save that. Now the next thing that we're going to do is create our style sheet for the React PDF document to be able to style it to how we want it to look. So I'll just do const styles is equal to style sheet dot create curly brace, open it up, and I'll just save that. And instead of there, I below that I mean, I will create a functional component that's called const PDF file. And underneath that, I'll just export it. I'll save this and you know I'll just add a div instead of here just to make sure that it is working. So I'll put in a div test and I will import this component right into here like PDF file. There we go. And now if I go into it, I will see well, we should see test, hopefully. There we go, test. All right, so now I went back into the PDF file component and inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and start making our PDF. So I'm gonna get rid of this content right here. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is use the document tag. And the document tag simply is the entire PDF itself. So if you had like 100 pages in the PDF, document would store those 100 pages. Next up, we're going to be using the page tag. What the page tag is, is an individual page basically. So if you had out of the 100 pages, you would just have that one individual page. And inside of there, we can define things like view, which is very integral to React PDF, but we don't need it. Um, text which is just basically HTML text uh, an image as well and image you can guess what that is just basic image doesn't need that you just need a self-closing brace and with each of these things we can provide it styles so if I were to give this page style is equal to styles which is our component right here dot body which doesn't exist I'll create all these things later I'll give this one style is equal to styles.header. If you actually look into the documentation of React PDF, there's a playground, and I'm basically just copying 
and using the playground and just editing on top of that. And for image, it's real simple. We can give it also a style. And we can give it a source as well. So instead of this source, we would of course give it LeBron stretch, which is our image. Greatest basketball player ever. Had to put that out there. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and create our styles. All right, so what I went ahead and did was I just went ahead and made the CSS that we need. So instead of style sheets dot create, I added the body, I added the title, the text, image, header, page number, and all the source code will be available in the, in the description down below. So you can go ahead and copy that if you want. And the final thing that I forgot to add was another text field underneath this. And this is where our all of our text is going to be stored, basically, all the paragraphs. So I'll just do styles.text. And I'll save that now. Perfect. Cool. So now what we're going to do is fill up this text. You can use regular lorem ipsum if you want, but I'm going to just go ahead and use lorem ipsum from this website called Philorama. It's just lorem ipsum for Futurama, my favorite show ever. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy, like, all of it, paste it, and Prettier is a plugin that I'm using that'll just format everything automatically. Cool, so now what we're gonna do is go back into our app.js file, and instead of here, we're gonna create the button to download the PDF. Right, before we actually do make the button, I wanna just add numbers to the bottom of our pages so we know what page number that we're on. So right before our end page tag, I will create another text with a self-closing brace and I'll give it a style equal to styles.page number which I've already created at the top right here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do render is equal to there's going to be a lot of braces here so curly extra curly instead of here I'll give it page number and total pages now you might be wondering where I'm getting these values from. Render actually provides these values by itself. So there's page number, total pages, sub page number, and sub page total pages. So now what I'm going to do is make an error function with strings. And inside of there, I'll just say page number divided by, well, slash, I mean slash total pages and so now we'll be able to see the page number at the bottom and I'll just add fixed at the bottom there we go perfect so for the button itself it's going to be a little bit more complicated than it is presented in the documentation and the reason that we're going to make it a little more complicated is because we want to make it so that the document has a time to get ready prior for the user to actually click it so if the button is clicked before the doc before the PDF is ready to be downloaded then it just won't do anything and that's not a good user experience. So just to make it a good user experience, I'll just do PDF download link. This is what is going to contain our download link with a, there we go. And inside of there, I will give it the document that we need is equal to PDF file. So our file that we created and I'll give it a file name I'll just call it uh, form, pretty simple. And now inside of here, I will give it a curly brace. And inside of there, I will give it loading. So this is basically gonna be like, has the PDF finished rendering? If it's rendered, then download. If it's not, then just keep loading. Cool. So let me get rid of this error right here. So right here, as you can see, we have loading. If it's true, download if it's not true then keep loading all right uh, let's get rid of this because that's not how we want it we want to actually make it a button that says loading document, document. and this one will also do button download perfect let me get rid of this and now when we test it out we'll actually see that when you click the download button it'll download and if you refresh it'll say loading document and then it'll download.
So if I go into the actual PDF, we will see that it's exactly what we want. We have our image and we have our content right here. And we should see our page number. Perfect. All right, so now we've learned how to set up React PDF into our app. Uh, I would highly recommend that you guys tinker with this a little bit more and learn more about it. There's lots of cool things you can do with React PDF. Next time, I'll show you guys how you can actually, on the click of a button, actually send the data to an API, which will then email it to a person. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope it helped you out. And if you did learn something, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.